Hey, Martin here. Today I want to show you how to port your steering gearbox for hydro assist. This is going to give you 100% more power. Now you're going to want to do this on a totally disassembled steering gearbox. Because uh, you don't want to get any metal shavings inside your gearbox. And then once you get your steering box all ported, you got the ability to put a cylinder on here on your tie rod. This is going to add a hundred percent more power. It is absolutely incredible the power I got now with adding this here. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Now, when marking the location, now I've ground this, there's usually some slag here, some casting slag. I've just ground that smooth with a die grinder and you're going to use this line as your center and then the line for this you're going to come in and you can do this on a tape measure there is some leeway approximately two and three quarter inches and then mark I use a center punch and mark that spot on your other hole you're going to here you're going to use this cap that they put in as your center line going down to here. Just eyeball it and it does not matter this way so much but you can pretty much line them up with the one that you're using here. I'm actually off a little bit. I'm a little further south and then to a center punch. Center punch the other one. Now we're ready to drill. And I'm going to first use a pilot bit. It is cast iron so it drills pretty easy. And that one's pretty thick in here which is nice. You have all that material that you're gonna have threads fighting against. This one here, be careful. You only want to go into that channel and don't keep going. I just drilled into the point where you can, you know, you feel you're hitting the other side and stop. Okay, now we're going to switch to our 7 16 drill bit. smooth. Okay. Again, you want to be careful on this one how far you go. You saw it, how it was biting, but it's grabbing those edges as it's coming through that port. So you're going to want to be careful. Okay. All right, I'll show you here. Now I'm going to take it one step further. I'm using a. I'm going to use a bit that I've ground the tip of it off. So all it has is these cutting edges on the side. So it won't drill deeper into the port, but we're going to get a nice square hole at the bottom. Okay, I got it cleaned up. And um, I was using that one drill bit that I've got the tip ground off of. And you get a really nice 
flat square hole. So you can get a shot of that. And now we're going to cut our threads. Okay, what I got set up here, I got your quarter pipe thread tap, and we also got the quarter inch pipe thread fitting to a 6 ANN that we have here. Now I got the, the these are both steel fittings, I got them from Redneck Ram best price I could find and even though you may be hooking this straight up to hydro assist always get the steel caps what if you're out in the field and one of your lines fails or the cylinder fails at least you can grab your caps cap this off and you can keep going and you want to use steel fittings these things will withstand 3500 psi where the aluminums will only go 2500 Take your time doing this. Make sure you got it straight up and down. Back off every now and then. Just cut the help clean up the threads as you're doing this. One thing about cast, it cuts very nice. On this one, you got so much material. I mean it's thick. That which is really great because you can Really sink the threads in here. So we're going to use a lot of the fitting. We're going to that way we know we got a really good seal. You don't quite have that luxury on the other hole. That's about as far as I'm going to take it. Now on this one, you got to be careful because your tap will eventually hit the bottom of the hole. Do not keep going because you'll rip the threads right out of this if you keep pushing it and then you're kind of SOL. Um, so what I've also done is taken this tap and I've ground off the tip of it because you don't need all of what they give you on the end of this tap to get it started because it fits down in there just fine and you can get it going. That way you're going to be able to cut more threads into this and get a better seal. Okay, right there. I can just feel it stop. And that's where we're going to stop. Push it any further than that. And you're going to be very sorry. 
Now I got some thread sealant here from Permamax. Careful not to get any down in there. You don't need that foreign stuff down in there. And I can tell this is going to go down in there nice and deep. Just good. Oh yeah. That is getting good tight. Alright, now we'll do this other one. And this one you're not going to get as deep as we did this one here. And you really don't want it to because you don't want to block that passage either. See, I mean, it, we're getting tight pretty quick here. Okay, we're going to call that good. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed that and found that helpful and informative. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you've never subscribed to me before, hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications of any upcoming videos as I release them. Alright, thanks again. Gotta love this.